I'm Jeff Lapidus, the retirement coach. And I'm Aaron Lapidus, the health insurance coach. And we'd like to talk to you about something we call reverse engineering. Last week we received an email from Bob. Bob happens to be married to Kathy. And Bob wrote us that he had recently lost his dad last year. At that time, he inherited an IRA of approximately $100,000. Now that IRA was a traditional IRA, which means that Bob's dad had not paid taxes on that money. So that means that Bob's got to pay taxes on that money. Exactly. And his question was, can I transfer my dad's IRA into my IRA? What's the answer, Aaron? No. But, but maybe. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to talk about how you do that. We call that reverse engineering. Aaron, Bob's dad never paid taxes on the money, and Bob eventually will have to, but he does have some options, doesn't he? He does have three options. However, he first needs to create an inherited IRA to accept the money from his dad's IRA. Then, he can either take the money as a lump sum and pay the taxes on the full amount. Ouch! He can take the distribution over five years. Mm, not so bad. Or he can use his age and make distributions from the IRA over the course of his life. Those are called required minimum distributions, right? That's right, and for Bob, it'll be about 4%. Which is $4,000 a year. So we understand what Bob's options are under the tax law, but we need a little bit more information from Bob and Kathy. What did we find out? We found out that Bob and Kathy are both still working, and both of their companies offer 401k plans. And we know that they're also not contributing the maximum that they could to those 401k plans. This gives them a great opportunity to consider reverse engineering. Exactly. If Bob was to decide to take those distributions over his lifetime, he would be receiving $4,000 a year, and he would have to include that as taxable income. But what he can do is increase his 401k contributions. So now it's time for reverse engineering. Let's talk about how this works. Bob's dad has a $100,000 traditional IRA. He needs to transfer this into a inherited IRA. Then he'll have to make the decision to take distributions over the course of his life. Which would increase his taxable income for the year. Ouch! So what do we do at this point is we have Bob reduce his pay at work by $4,000 and make that as a contribution to his 401k. By reducing his pay, he'll reduce his taxable income. We've increased his taxable income by $4,000 from the distribution. We've reduced it by $4,000 by the contribution. So the result is? A tax neutral event. Exactly. So here's a way over a period of time that Bob can move the money from his dad's IRA into his 401k, which at his retirement will eventually be his IRA. Life is good. If you'd like to hear more on this topic and many others regarding retirement, tune in to our show, Straight Talk on Retirement, from 10 to 11 a.m. on the Big 550 KTRS.